it's a senior album today. We're going to make salsa. It's senior album because I'm old. And the salsa, it's gringo salsa because gringos need salsa too. So you'll need all the ingredients shown here. You'll need tomatoes, sea salt, cilantro, red onion, a couple kinds of peppers, and minced garlic, and chips. So we'll start. And you have to use a food processor, not a blender. So the first thing we do is take the cilantro, like a whole bunch, and I usually cut it off right at this line there, and uh, make sure you're any bad leaves, you pick them out. Put them in the blender, a whole bunch. In the fruit processor, correct. Down there. You could use a knife, but this is why. Like Sit down to kind of find where you won't be spitting out leaves. That's why you keep it dry. You start that first so you can uh, get them out without being damp. Okay. And next, we'll use a red onion. I call them red, but I guess some people call them purple. I like to get one onion flat, kind of flat. You can cut off the ends. And uh, peel off the outside. We make gringo salsa because there's a lot of Mexican salsa, but we've got gringo style. Make it as hot as you like, or as not, either way. Takes about uh, 15 minutes to make it. And I use canned tomatoes, because good tomatoes are hard to find. Don't go too long, they'll get mushy. Okay. Now we need to do peppers. So today I'm using uh, three jalapenos and three serranos. Kind of use what you like, I guess. Come up a little.
I can make it a little <coughs> noise. Shoo. I might have to make it a little chunky. Well, canned tomatoes. It's hard to get a good tomato. <laughs> I like to use Hunt as a good brand. You want to make good brand tomatoes. So cold tomatoes. Drain a little of the juice off. Put them in the blender, in the processor for a little break down. Get a crushed tomato. Ready? Sure. And I'm going to use sea salt. And I need a teaspoon. <laughs> Calling one of my assistants here. <laughs> I mean, just a little teaspoon. Oh, no, sure, it's going to mean. <laughs> About three of these. I think I'm going to need a little, a little more. This spoon looks kind of small. But you can always add if you like. And that in. And I got the minced garlic already ready to go. I like to put about three in. You can make this pretty easy at home and uh, you can feed a lot of people. And best to eat it right after you make it. Sure. Okay. You know, you're done already. And that's uh, what it looks like. And you know it's best to eat it right away, like I said. And uh, it, 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 you don't have to refrigerate it the first day, but uh, it's just good to eat up when it's just fresh made. There's, you can change a little thing to your own satisfaction, and you just need chip. And it's good on everything else. You can put it on scrambled eggs or put it on cottage cheese, whatever you like. That's it. Thank you. Okay, where's my cleanup, girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Is it cut?